What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to this Safari 101. <laughs> so we've been in Kenya for almost two years and we have learned a lot, especially with packing and things like that. Uh, so if you have never been on a safari or just don't know what to expect, this is a video for you. Let's go. So let me start off by saying when you're going on a safari, it does not have to mean you're roughing it. There are different tiers of camps and if, well, if you look around right now, this is pretty much as best as it gets. <laughs> so we're gonna bring a couple tips. One, you don't need this. This is something that we appreciate having when we're out on game drives. It's an external battery pack. It really helps us because where we use technology a lot, it also dies really fast. So there's that. And then number two, this is more of a pro tip. This is not a necessity. Bring a travel mug because you get wake up coffee in the morning and sometimes it's really cold outside too. So you put your coffee in there, you go on your game drive and, oh, specify, get one that um, doesn't spill because it's gonna be bumpy. And then, again, this is mainly because we have a ton of tech and you never know with plugs if they're gonna take an international or just straight European. So we actually picked up a power bar, I think it was like 10 bucks at the car for, and we bring this with us. So then if there's only two plugs, we have lots of extra here. Tip, if you're from North America, the Apple Cubes, they have their own transformer in them. So you don't have to worry about the 240 volt, plug it directly into there, nothing's gonna bust. Hmm, what else we have? Oh, sunscreen. It gets hot in the afternoon and I actually get a little bit burnt this trip. Make sure you bring sunscreen. Bug spray, you can bring that. Most camps have their own version, um, and other than that, yeah. See you in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so even though we're Canadian, you would think that like we wouldn't get cold. But something that you do need to bring on safari, which people underestimate, is you do need a sweater. Bring a jacket that kind of breaks the wind because throughout the day, you're gonna want layers on and peel the layers back off. You're gonna see. What people don't realize is that Africa actually gets cold. In the morning game drive, sometimes it's single digits and with being in an open truck, it gets really chilly sometimes. By the way, there's a lion there. Okay, so if you're lucky, you have a poncho like this that is actually fleece lined. Um, not super common, but normally you have some type of blanket in the truck. Now, if you're very lucky, if the camp is very good, you even have your hot water bottle. Put your poncho on, stick the hot water bottle underneath, you are good to go. So what does a safari day look like? So there's a couple of variations from it, but the one that is our favorite, and yes, you're gonna get up early, um, is typically waking up around 5, 5.30, and then most camps actually give you a wake up call. And usually that comes with the delivery of coffee and cookies, <laughs> which is Or my juice favorite. or water, if <laughs> yeah, you don't like coffee you like me. <laughs> um, and then normally you leave anywhere, again, depending on what time you get up, between 5.30 and 6, depending on what conservation. Um, and then you're normally out until, I would say like, 9.30, 10 ish, come back for breakfast, or sometimes you do a bush breakfast and you don't come back until like 11.30. Yeah. Because the thing is, when you're on safari, when it's hot throughout the day, you're not gonna see as much, and it's hot, so you're just gonna come back anyway. And all the big cats are much more active during the night or early morning yeah. or late evening. Uh, so that is definitely prime time. And then the rest of yeah. the time, like uh, in the afternoon, normally like most camp have a pool. So bring a bathing suit yep. <laughs> and so you can do that sometimes. Or have a nap. Yeah, have a nap, <laughs> relax. The afternoons are made for that because at around four, between four and five, it's time to go back out to go yeah. see some more game until like sundown normally yeah so there's also another couple options for sundowner um i would say if you've never been on safari i would recommend the sundowner in the bush yeah, for 100%. sure it gives you a unique experience with the animals around normally it includes either alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages whatever yeah. you want and then you come back around i don't know 7 7 30 yeah something like that change for supper if you want or just go in your own clothes and anywhere is between like 8 and 9 30 pretty much yeah some places have fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> Dinners are normally late. People like to hang around yeah. and like talk, you know, talk. chit chat. 
chill around the <laughs> fireplace. So very long days if you think you're gonna come on a safari and relax and go back home refresh. Well, it is a possibility, but at the same time, you're not gonna see as many yeah. animals, that's for sure. And like I said, like these game drives are optional in the sense you don't have to do both of them, but I would definitely recommend, like we've been doing it for a while and we still do both of yeah. them. You need to do a couple early morning and late evening yeah. kind of game drive. Yeah. But if you're here for a few days, feel free to skip a few and <laughs> relax, because it's, it's a vacation. It's a nice trip after all. Yes. <laughs> So something that you may not know about is actually when you go to properties, you can even save a little bit more money if you choose the full board option. So normally there's game drive versus full board. So if you have a good four x four vehicle that is able to, well, you know, drive in conservancies and things like that, that is another great option for you. So we've been in Kenya for almost two years now and we've been to 25 different safari camps mm -hmm. all around Kenya. So if we have to give you only one option, one for basically no budget and one for on a budget, yeah. there's two camps that really, really stand out. Yeah. So let's start with the budget option. Mm -hmm. um, and when I say this, when I say budget, like don't be intimidated by budget. Like it is a phenomenal, all well-rounded yes. camp. Yeah. And this is actually our very first safari we ever went on and that was a Mayan luxury camp here in the Mara. Just come see, I'll show you. It's very nice. <laughs> so welcome to our tent. This is tent number 10 and this is our bedroom. So we actually have a suite, so along with the master bedroom, it actually comes with a living room space. So definitely check them out. And when I say budget, like extremely good prices. Like really, really good. Like I've Amazing. never seen a cheaper price and like it is not the worst camp we have. Non-residence is good too. Yes. That's the biggest key. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's a very nice camp. It's luxurious. The beds are comfortable. The rooms are nice. Each the staff room, is good. Each room has their own jacuzzi good. in the deck. Yeah, like, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. And then if budget is not an issue, well, first of all, congratulations. And second, this, where we are at right now, is definitely what we would suggest. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the video that's gonna come out with this. It'll be out like probably about a week and a half from this. Yeah. Um, I am literally speechless. Unbelievable. It's a dream. It's called Ishara Masamara. Oh, yeah. We should probably tell yeah. them where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this will give you more details yeah. in the video coming, but like just look it up online. Oh, it is goodness. unbelievable. And it's actually 10 out of 10. brand new. Yeah. So yeah. It's as good Amazing. as it gets. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just came back from another great safari weekend and don't forget to give tip to the staff and also to your driver normally those two are separate yeah um, so basically if there's something that you think that we haven't covered or you're still left with questions comment them down below we're gonna put extra effort into going through all the comments on this video and hopefully answer the best of our ability pretty mm -hmm. much so otherwise enjoy your first safari because it's extraordinary it is. And see you in the next one.